Kevin Kahn for Nerd Caliber, talking to David Gallagher. David Gallagher, yeah. Gallagher, uh, creator of uh, High Moon for Zuda Comics. Uh, was it Box 13 for? Box 13 for Comicsology Red 5, and uh, Only Living Boy for Bottled Lightning. Yes, which uh, has been getting a lot of great buzz uh, lately. Uh, tell, tell us about uh, the, the latest book of yours. And Only Living Boy is the story of a 12-year-old named Eric who uh, runs away from home and uh, sleeps under a rock in the rain because he's just so miserable and so depressed. And when he wakes up, he finds himself lost and alone in a patchwork alien world with no real memory of his previous life. He just knows that, oh my god, he needs to run away. But he doesn't remember the life he was running from. So uh, as he moves forward trying to piece together a new life for himself, he meets like insect princesses and mad scientists with crazy insect arms and giant chimerical dragons and mermaid warriors and insect princesses and three-headed monsters. And it's, uh, it's a really cool action-adventure series in the spirit of Saturday morning cartoons like Thunder the Barbarian and, um, you know, Jungle Book and John Carter on Mars and Tarzan. Very cool. Now, is this uh, a, a mini series, a long going series? How, how do you how do you see this running? It's uh, four issues, each are fifty pages, wow. so it's two hundred pages total of story Great. content. It's a very rich sort of open environment where we can sort of play around and do anything with like crazy rat lizard creatures right. and crazy like dinos undead dinosaurs and. Uh, furry flying monkey kind of thing so it's a lot of fun what, do you see this would you like to get it optioned as like a, a movie or a cartoon series or anything? Do, you, do you have something like that in the works yeah, we're working with some guys in Hollywood right now to uh, option it as a TV show Excellent. cartoon and so we're really excited about that and uh, yeah we hope to keep it going we just love telling the kind of stories that uh, power the imagination that really get kids uh, the moment they put the book down or even uh, kids of all ages really the moment they put the book down they're thinking about it days and weeks and months afterwards you know stories that just don't live in the printed pages but live on in our imaginations and our dreams. David, how did you uh, get started? At what interests you to get into uh, writing comic books? Uh, uh, my very first movie was the first Superman movie my parents took me to see. Nice. Uh, and so that really inspired me to just, I, I think just inspire the very intrinsic nature of uh, doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do, just being the best kind of person you can be. And so from there I was exposed to the Super Friends and the Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man and Captain America and all those crazy live action like Shazam and Bionic Man and Bionic Woman uh, stuff. So, you know, I was really inspired by um, using your abilities for good and as you know I grew up as a boy scout and grew up you know in a very noble uh, kind of behavioral family you know with good morals um, so you know I really want to bring that to the work I do both for High Moon and Box 13 and Only Living Boy so I think uh, working in comics was just a natural evolution of that process it's just like uh, living in this medium and, and creating characters and stories that are role models for how we can live our lives and metaphors for our existence as human beings. That's really profound, but that's no, that's great. But that's that's what great storytelling is. Is you know, it, it, it can be, you know, I mean, from Rod Sterling to one of my uh, favorite comic book writers, J.M. DeMatteis, of just like you know, these wild fantasies, but. You know, there has to be something there. It's not just, you know, explosions and creatures. Right. And the, yeah, that's exactly it. The panel can be a reflection of what we see in ourselves. Yeah. And that's really uh, what I see uh, about comics and why comics are so evocative. Because it's also, more than movies or more than television, uh, we, we take comics as an isolated reading experience. It's, it's like reading a book. You know, we live in those printed pages. It's harder to share a comic book with somebody than it is to watch a TV show or watch a film. So what we take from it is very much our own our own interpretation. It's, it's, it sounds great. Definitely going to pick up a, a copy of uh, issue one. Is uh, only issue one is out right now? Yeah, and in, uh, it's quarterly book, okay. so it, uh, issue one comes out in January. Excellent. And uh, where can we find information? Websites, uh, Twitter, all so that. So you can uh, go to bottledlightning.com, B O T T L E D hyphen lightning okay. uh, dot com. You can find out more information on any of our books and actually purchase them directly on our website uh, from Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Comicsology. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out. It sounds great. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, for Nerd Caliber, I'm Kevin Kahn.